everyone, and welcome to Bree's Project Book. Today we are going to create a seasonal vignette for the spring summer. Those of you who've been with me a while know my island stylings are pretty elaborate with full table setting and decorations. But today I wanted to share an idea for those who have small or medium sized islands. This seasonal vignette is perfect for any size kitchen island. So let's get started. Okay everyone, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first piece we're going to start with is this tray. I love this mirrored tray. It's a nice contemporary piece and I love the design on it. And I thought it was simple but extravagant enough that it would be nice for this vignette here on the island. So this is going to be a... So we're going to style this tray with three items. We're going to start with our pedestals here. These, if you remember, came from Breeze Fabby Fine. They were originally gold. I purchased them from Target. For $19.99. If you guys have not seen my breeze, maybe find my list that in the iCard above. But as you can see, I did silver, rub and buff it. It was gold and I turned it to silver. And we're going to go ahead and place that on the tray. We have another one. And I did, this, did the same thing to this one. And we're going to place it on the tray. Now we have to be careful because we've got to get three pieces here on this tray. So we're going to style it in three. So we need to um, be careful of our spacing. We have this a nice, large vase here. It is one of three pieces. If you guys hear the line of people are outside <laughs> doing the lawn, and so that's the best that noise um, that's going on. So um, I'm sorry about that, but you know, it's getting spring and it's getting hot outside and people want to do their lawn. So here is this vase. Like I said, it's one of three pieces. I purchased this from Overstock. It was uh, a set for $147, I believe it was. And we're going to use this as a vase. So we're going to put this over here on one of the pedestals here to give it some height. And then uh, we have this nice bowl. I love styling with this bowl. Love the shape of it. The nice four points that curves up to make the nice square bowl. Love the color in the inside. And this bowl came from at home. It was $29.99. Now we have to be careful because this is a large bowl and we want to be able to get all three pieces in here. So we're going to just try to space this as much as possible. And the reason I have three large pieces in here or three substantial sizes is because I want to fill up this tray so it make a nice vignette. And it'll be like one piece of uh, a beautiful styling. Um, on the island. And then we have this gorgeous piece of a uh, vase, I guess you could say a pedestal vase. And it also can be used as a candle. And we're going to place that right here on the side to give it some height. Now we have the low here, we have our middle, and then we have our tall. So we fill up all the uh, spaces in diff three different heights so it can fill up the tray. So this is what it looks like for now. So what we're going to style first is this bowl right here. I have some beautiful peonies, I guess that's what you call them. And I purchased these from at home. And it's coffee color. I used these once before. Under the bottom, you can see where I tied it together. And I wanted to give me a base. So this is my base. And I spread it out because this is a huge bowl. And we want to give it a nice little base here. So we are going to set this up in here. And then we don't want it too round. So I also have some peonies that I cut off the stem. And we are going to just place some of these to stick out and fall over the bowl to give it some dimension and some depth because we don't want it to be too round. And we're just bending some of the stems. Some of the stems I'm leaving as uh, long. As you can see, it's a not a that too long of a stem. It's about 10 inches and I'm going to just bend some of it so it can um, be put in here in different heights 
and kind of spread it out a little bit because I don't want all of the same flour bunched up together. Now these are some artificial baby breaths that I also purchased from at home last week because I love the color of it. And we're going to place these in here. Now what I've done is I filled this base up with newspaper so it can, uh, because the stem here is another only 10 inches. So it's not going to go all the way down to the bottom of the base. So the paper will hold it up. Now, I could also use some tape to go across here, but these stems are very sparse. And um, you can see the tape if I did that. So we're going to just see, <laughs> see how it's going to look with the newspaper down in here. Once I get it filled up, then it won't fall over too much. Okay, everybody, here is the vignette. I am loving this. I'm loving the colors. I think, though, what I'm going to do is buy some more of those baby breaths. I want that tall vase to be filled up just a little bit more. So I'm going to buy a pack of six of those to fill that up some more. But other than that, love how this looks. Okay, so down at the bottom, as you know, we started with that silver tray. I wanted to bring in a nice silver tray. I didn't want it to shine too much, so I decided to go with this one with a nice brushed silver. Then we had those two stands, those candle holders that we're using as a stand, rub and buff in silver. Then we put down those three decor elements which is that nice bowl, the tall vase, and that beautiful pedestal bowl there that we use for the low areas. We made sure that we hit all the areas in height. We have that low area for that pedestal bowl. We have the middle area there with that large bowl, and then we have the nice height levels with that tall vase. And I wanted to make sure that I fill those areas up because that vase is tall and you want to fill in that so it doesn't look like it's separated. I want it to look to look very combined, very put together in one group that flows very nicely. Then we have our flowers, those peonies. Love that color. They call it coffee, but it has some touches of burgundy and tan in there. It goes very, very well with the kitchen cabinets and the counter. And the same with the baby breaths. It has that same tan and coffee and that touches of burgundy. And I think it's gorgeous. It really stands out in the vignette. I hope I leave you with some inspiration to create your own vignette for your island using basic decor items in different heights and with your favorite florals. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell twice to receive notifications for videos like this one and much more. See you on the next one.